this short section, we're actually going to go through some of the basic features of Winora Pro. You can see this is the graph screen. This is the energy around my head. This tells you what the different colors are. This chart just kind of gives you which color you're doing. Purple is the shortest and red is the longest. The one that counts if you want to measure the effect of healing or products are these ones here. These are relative. So if you were to use a crystal or something like that, you'd see the colors really jump around. This is your mind, body, spirit. This actually um, holds its setting after calibration. We do this because too many people would sit here keeping looking at this thing and, and they would go, why did I change from this to this? Well, you changed because you just grabbed a crystal and it's too complicated, so we just hold it at one thing. This is your average color. And this is, can, be, can be pretty useful um, when you have a whole bunch of different colors in the aura. You can kind of get an idea where the person's personality is by looking at the average. This is the emotion meter, which is kind of like a lie detector. If there's any changes in emotions or somebody says something, you can actually see it change. For sessions, this can be really useful to get an idea where someone is. This is your balance. See, it's relatively even. The more even it is, um, the more balanced someone is, and you can have the yin or the yang get higher. So I'm going to go over basically how to print a simple snapshot. So first thing you'd want to do is to put the person's name in there. I would use caps lock. Um, um, because it's easier to see on the printed report. Okay, then we can go and we can actually print a snapshot. So you want to have the person smile first, and snapshot, click. Okay, that freezes the face, and you see you have several choices here. Each one of these choices has three choices of one. Regular, which is head and shoulders like you see here. Seven chakra, which would be like a seven chakra that you can see over there. And you can also do a wind star uh, if you want, which would be like this here. Or you can do these with graphs. You've seen the samples. Or you can print what you see on the screen. For right now, I think we'll just stick with regular. So I'm going to go ahead and print a snapshot. And when it prints a snapshot, it will also come out with a, an option to print a report. So a snapshot be, should be starting to print any second. And now you see this. If you click no, you won't get the report. If you click yes, you'll actually get a printed report telling you the various aspects of your different aura. You can see this is a relatively short one. Now if you want to print this, you can just go to print and print the way you normally would. Oops, it was out of paper because I only had it because I only had a snapshot. Usually I only put just a simple um, snapshot uh, four by five, which I'll show you as soon as we get finished with this. So you can go to file. Now if you want to save this somewhere, you go to save as. I would recommend saving it in my documents in my photos. And you can also take my photos and you can arrange them by uh, dates or any of the folders or files you want to create for that. So that's how you save them. You can also mail them to people, and that's where you have to be careful. Save as, I would save as a web page complete, um, or web archive. I think archive, one of, one of these actually will, will allow you to be able to email it to someone. So you can test it before you do that. So that's the basics there. Now I'll go ahead and turn this off so you can get back to the, the screen. Okay, so now we're going to see the Winora screen again. You see how this is somewhat simplistic view. You can also see chakras. That's the chakra view. And you can see how my chakras are pretty, pretty consistent, pretty uniform today. Or if you want, you can also look at this from the star man view, which is very good if you want to see problem areas in the aura energy. You see right around my waist, there's some blue there. Let's go take a look and we'll view graphs. Okay, this is where you view the graphs and you look for the uh, the highest or the lowest one. Let's see, which one is the highest and which one is the lowest? Highest means energy is moving too fast, lower middle. It's because my back is a little stressed from sitting up straight like this to make this, this video. Um, so you can ask somebody, you know, which area by looking at the, the highest or the lowest of the back is almost at the... That means the energy is moving too fast. Um, so you can find problem areas and you can discuss these with your client as this thing is going. So I'm just going to give you a quick, quick view of that. You can also print this on your report or print a snapshot from it. 
So I'll go back to this for a second just so you can see what the snapshot looks like that I just printed out. So let's get this so you can see it better without the light shining on it. Yeah, there's there's my face in a snapshot of four by five or four by six. You can also have um, you can print on the back of this, you can print what the colors mean and your sign. You can find that in um, your support folder. I think it's called for something. So uh, that's the, the basics of this. You can take a look. This particular graph here shows the relative strength of the auras, red being the most powerful and violet being the more calmest one. This is the one that's much more interesting for showing the effects of products before, after, during. Um, like if you have a crystal, you can see how it will affect it. We'll do that a little later. It's more interesting. To show. This is the mind, body, spirit. This freezes at calibration. So what you see is what you had at calibration. That way, if somebody grabs a crystal or something, it doesn't change all over the place and, and, and have your customer go, well, how come my mind, body, spirit change? Well, you just grabbed a crystal. It's just easier to just have it freeze at that stage. This tells you your average color, which right now, I'm at sort of blue-green. And this can be useful when you have a whole bunch of different colors in the order to get an idea just where the person is coming from. This is the emotion meter, which tells you um, changes in the aura similar to this. With this, you can get an idea of um, where a person is coming from emotionally. You can ask them emotionally charged questions and watch the needle change as they react. This is your balance. You see I'm a little bit out of balance. There's a little bit more green on this side than yellow. So I think we've pretty well gone through the basic features of Winora, and Winora um, Light has the same features as this does. I'm going to start the second video and we'll go into the advanced features. Thank you. Okay, this will be section two. Okay, in section two I'm going to show you, you can see how this, this thing looks this way. This is the regular mode. So now I'm going to go into the advanced one. Also, a little word of warning, when you click these and you go back and forth one, it'll always go to photo, which is made for photos. You see how my face is relatively clear? I wish you could sit a little closer. This is my face is relatively clear. Now I'm going to change settings and go into the more advanced um, video section stuff. So. That's photo stable. I was on photo stable so the colors don't bounce around so much. I'm going to do it on high sensitivity. And I'm also going to just go ahead and click on active aura and just show you what it is. Now active aura is only to be used for sec sessions, not necessarily good for healings. So now we have photo, as you see right over here. So I'm going to change photo to aura live. Now we're in aura live. So we click this aura live here. If I turn on holistic session, I'm going to turn on Halo Week. If I were going to do a healing or someone's going to do a healing or sometimes with products, you want to check this one too. So these are the settings you use for making um, healing sessions and videos. Now, as you can see, the colors are all over the place. And you can see, I mean, it, the color comes alive. I'm going to go to large, which is, I think, the best place to make a video from. Okay, this is large. You can see the difference between this is when I move, the aura follows me, no matter which section, which way I go. And this can be extremely useful for making uh, videos. Now the colors will probably change, change around when I lift this up. So if you want to do a healing, what you do is you take and you put, you plug the healing hand into that plug right there on your thing, and ask the person doing the healing to put these on their fingers. You just want to put them on the tips of the fingers. There's only going to be two silver ones and one is actually a temperature sensor. And then you make sure that the person comes in from the left hand side. So you have the person doing the healing. First of all, to do a healing, I should sit down with my head a little lower because you want to make sure you can see the healer's face. You have to have a black background. Don't even try it without a black background. It won't work without a black background. So have the person bring their fingers in and when you just see the tips of their fingers at your height with the person low and make sure you can see the healer's face. If you can't see their face, they're not going to be happy. You know, it'll work without it, but you want them to see themselves so that you know who's doing the healing. So when you, I would click, if I'm going to make a video of this at this point, I would 
click record set first I have to bring their fingers in just here then I would click record session then after the record session starts then I would flip the switch up there and that switch will actually turn on their colors and you'll see their colors surrounding yours if you have um, healing session turned on. So then after you do that, then you ask them to slowly bring their hands in and they can do their healings. I would keep these videos short. They're going to want you to video them for an hour, an hour and a half. Nobody is going to watch it. You need to keep it down to just a few minutes and it's ideally for your website. So you have clients come in you want to do a healing, you want to stand behind them, put one hand there and one hand there so they can see that you have healing energy in your hands. So they see these two hands on both sides of them, which I'm sure you've seen plenty of these videos on our website. And then I'd make them a DVD or a CD and send it with them so they can take it home and show their friends. And that will really help um, bring a lot of business towards you. Okay, now you can click record session which I'm not going to do right now. And there's two ways to save it. One way is after you record the session, you'll click Stop Session, then you'll click Play, and when you click Play, you'll, you'll see it play in Windows Media Player. Then from Windows Media Player, you can go to the Save the File, and go to Save or Save As. There'll be an option there somewhere. And you can save it into, but I would suggest save it into my documents and my videos. You save reports to my documents, my photos, and you save video sessions in my documents, my videos, and you can section those off by date or any way you want to file them. Um, I would suggest saving them by people's telephone numbers so you never forget who they are. Or you can put date in such a way as that you can search by date. Okay, so I think that's kind of the basic, and this is some of the advanced features that you can see from Winora Pro. I think that should do just about the basic stuff you need to do to get started and be sure to go online with us so we can go over with you on some of the even more advanced features and how to use this and get the most out of the system that you have.